Hello, I'm Mimi. I'm a digital artist using social media to sell my products. So I want to share how you can convert your lovely community of followers on Instagram into paying customers as an artist. And I also spoke to some other artists on Instagram to find out how they successfully market or sell through the platform. This video is sponsored by Skillshare and I have my very own class that I'm really excited to tell you about in just a minute. Having followers on Instagram and a sense of community is great, but it doesn't pay the bills on its own and I know that a lot of us, myself included, want to make money from our art skills so that we can spend more time doing what we love. We all see people promoting their art and products on social media every day, so how are they actually making it work? You can make money on Instagram either directly from your content through sponsorships with brands, or you can make money using your content as marketing for your own products. I've never done a sponsored post on Instagram, but I do have a lot of experience now with content marketing, so we're going to talk about the second one. Using Instagram to market your products can be lots of different things. It can be really organic, like just showing yourself naturally using that product. It can be more direct, like telling people that you have something that you're selling. It can be sharing that you're available for commissions or promoting a separate paid platform like Patreon. So there are lots of ways to make it work for you, but first we need to understand a simple formula. If you want to monetize your Instagram followers, then make something that they want and offer that product or service to them. This is really simple but easy to overlook and if you don't take a bit of time to put on your business hat and figure out how this formula applies to what you do, then you might end up misaligning your product with your audience. Let's break down the two main parts of this formula to better understand what you're going to need to do to convert followers to customers. Making something that they want means that you first need to understand who your audience is and whether you're even reaching the right people. You need to know what it is that they want or how you're solving a problem for them and then actually make the product or service that fits both you and your audience. Offering your product or service to them means that you need to have a way to sell your product like in a shop, decide how to price your product and tell your target customer about it, in this case on Instagram, in a way that highlights the value to them. If you can spend some time understanding how each of these parts applies to you and your Instagram followers, then you'll be in a great position to successfully start earning some money from your art skills. I talk more about understanding your customer and providing value to them with your art in my class on Skillshare, which is also the sponsor of today's video. My class is called Plan Your Creative Business, Your Path to Creating Income as an Artist and I wanted to host it on Skillshare because they're a great online learning platform with loads of classes for creative people like us. You can learn all sorts of things to help you as an artist or a small business like content marketing, digital art skills, photography or productivity. In my class, I help you lay out a simple plan for your own creative business so that you have clarity about what to invest your time in as you get started and continue to grow. I've made a workbook that you can download for free with the class and fill in as you go so that by the end of my class, you can have a clear understanding of the direction that you want to take as an artist running a creative business, who your customer is, how your products provide value to your customer, and a valuable way that you can tell them about what you offer. I'm so excited to share this 45 minute class with you and you can watch it for free because the first 500 people to click the link in the description can get a one month free trial of Skillshare. That means that not only can you watch my class, but you can also watch lots of other high quality classes about creativity and entrepreneurship. Thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So I asked my Instagram community how they use Instagram to successfully sell their products or services and I want to share a few examples with you to give you some inspiration. Revly is a Dutch artist who uses Instagram to sell online art classes by building an honest relationship with her followers and then offering them value in the form of educational workshops. She shares sneak peeks of her classes on her Instagram stories and invites followers to join her VIP email list where they'll receive a discount and early access to the class. 
This is really valuable to her followers who are already excited about her classes and she recently had 40% of her VIP email list convert to paying customers using this method. Using Instagram to build an email list is a great way to provide extra value to those who are interested before then offering them your paid product. Melanie from The Swimming Owl uses her Instagram account to sell coloring books made with her own illustrations directly to her followers but has also had some success using influencer marketing to help sell her books. She carefully selects small influencers in the coloring community who fit her audience and feel like a good match and writes a thoughtful and personalized message to them offering to send a copy of one of her books. Hopefully the influencer will share the product with their audience and introduce Melanie to their audience that way. This is a great way to expand your audience beyond your own followers and collaborate with someone else in the community who has an existing and trusted relationship with their followers. Talia from Talia Corn Illustrates offers custom pet portraits and does all of her sales through DMs. If she sees someone engaging with her pet portraits or sharing that they like her art, then she'll actively reach out to that account and message them just to let them know that she offers commissions if they'd ever like something custom illustrated, and she's had some recent orders from using this proactive approach in her community. I know that it can seem intimidating or a little salesy to let people know that we sell products, but Talia says that she's learned to focus on what's in it for her customer and the value for them when she's telling them about her pet portraits. Gladys from Les Pepites de Gladys sells cozy products for the reading community like candles, bookmarks and journaling supplies. She has an established Instagram account focusing on books and has taken the approach of using a second account for her shop to sell products, which she says helps to better target her audiences. She found that having her regular content and her store all on one account on Instagram pushed away some of her original followers, but on other platforms like YouTube, she can talk about both on the same channel since long form content allows you to mix themes a little more. Building a separate account specifically for your products can help you keep your marketing separate and targeted just for those who are the most interested while still maintaining your audience on your original account, but keep in mind that it can be a lot more work to have more than one account. As for myself and how I use Instagram for my business, I try to take a fairly organic approach on my posts by mostly just posting my art, but I've started writing what brushes from my brush packs I've used to create those illustrations. In my Instagram stories, I'll be a bit more direct and share what I'm working on that my audience can purchase or announce new product launches there. I direct people to my Patreon, my Skillshare class, but mostly I direct them to my Etsy shop where they can purchase my digital brushes for themselves. You can see on my shop that of the 5,500 visits in the last 30 days throughout October, about 450 of those came from my Linktree, which is what I use on my Instagram profile, and another 160 came from direct links on Instagram, which would be the links in my stories or other people's stories. You can even see a spike on the direct link clicks over the 26th and 27th where I posted stories about my brush sets two days in a row. So there are quite a few different ways that you can offer products or services to your Instagram followers. Make sure that you're offering something that's valuable to them and that you're reaching the right people. And also keep in mind that people won't always make a purchase immediately. They might see something a few times before they decide to buy it. So if you'd like some additional help on your creative journey, then consider joining my community over on Patreon. You can cancel any time and you get instant access to my drawing tutorials, monthly illustration club and digital art videos that I share each and every month. Plus, I'll be getting ready to host my advent calendar there in December with a brand new set of festive goodies, which I'm really excited about and I can't wait to see you there. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then I'd love it if you could give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more art videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.